Hey, this is Becca with Violin by Becca, and in this video we'll be talking all about how to put a shoulder rest on your violin and some other helpful things you need to know. Now, as you've probably already seen, as you've searched Google and Amazon, there are tons of different brands of shoulder rests. Like, <laughs> so many. Um, some of my favorites and the ones that I have in my studio are like the Kuhn brand, which is really popular, Everest, which is my favorite. You can either use like a foam pad, there's another Wolf brand, and also another favorite, Bon Musica. So there's so many to choose from and it can get really overwhelming. Typical cost for a shoulder rest will be anywhere between, if you're getting a foam pad, it'll be way cheaper, like five to $10, versus these other hard shoulder rests are gonna be around 20 to $30, and some even ranging as high as 50. So don't let the price scare you or sway you in any way. We wanna make sure we find a shoulder rest that fits you best. I've linked to all my favorite shoulder rests in my beginner checklist PDF that you can find in the description below. Now I get asked by a lot of my students if they have to use a shoulder rest or why it's important to use a shoulder rest. I have my violin here and I'll show you why. So there's two main reasons. The first is when we're playing our violin, we wanna make sure to have good technique that our violin's parallel to the floor and that we're holding it or can hold it without any hands. So if we put our violin up without a shoulder rest on and I try to do it with no hands, it gets, my clothes are kind of slippery and it's not staying on me. So the second reason why it's important to have a shoulder rest is there's this bone here, your uh, clavicle or collarbone. I get a lot of complaints from students where it's pinching or, or hitting on their violin and comfort is a huge reason why you want a shoulder rest. So it'll stay up and then feel really comfortable so you can play for an extended period of time. Now what makes a good shoulder rest is one, we want a shoulder rest that's gonna fit your body type and fit you. There's so many different kinds and so this might take a few different kinds of ordering ones, see if it fits, maybe you don't like it, send it back, try a different one. We also want a shoulder rest that's gonna bridge that gap between your uh, your chest and your collarbone and the top of your violin. So that way when you're playing, it gives you that little bit of cushion that will help hold it up. Now two things to watch out for that make a really good shoulder rest are, I'm gonna use my Kuhn shoulder rest as an example because this is a great shoulder rest that I highly recommend. It has a really good little notch right here in the foot that will stay attached to your violin. Some of the cheaper shoulder rests that you can find on Amazon don't have a great little curve and then they fall off your violin really easy. So you'll have your violin up with your shoulder rest, you'll take your violin down and your shoulder rest will fall off. And that gets really frustrating. So we wanna make sure that it has a nice little curve there. The second thing that makes a really good shoulder rest is that it has a good gripping on the foot. We want kind of a rubbery grip that will again, help keep your shoulder rest on your violin. Some of the cheaper shoulder rests, uh, instead of like having a good rubbery grip, they have kind of a plasticky smooth gripping and that will make it fall off your violin pretty quick. Now, this last thing that makes a good shoulder rest is a personal preference, but I love shoulder rests that are collapsible. So that's where the legs come in. I find this is super helpful, especially in making sure that you're, you can put your shoulder rest in your case. I don't know about you, but sometimes I can be very forgetful. And if I don't have a spot in my case for my shoulder rest to go, it could totally get left behind. I've seen some students that have little pouches that they can attach to their case, like it's like a clip on, and then they'll put the shoulder rest in that if they don't have a collapsible, collapsible leg shoulder rest. Otherwise, I love the collapsible kind, then you can just stick it in your case. So some things to watch out for to make sure you have a good shoulder rest are it has a great little curve in the foot. The rubber gripping is nice and actually rubbery and it's not plasticky. And my personal favorite is that the feet collapse. Now that we know all those super important things about shoulder rests, I'm gonna show you how to put this Kuhn shoulder rest on your violin. Now, as you can see, it has kind of a little bit of a curve to it and most shoulder rests will. There's a bigger end and a smaller end. When you're putting your shoulder rest on your violin, it's going to be the bigger end in the back and then the smaller in the front. I'll show you how. So let's take your violin and I'm gonna turn it upside down. Make sure you have a really good hold on the neck and that it's really secure because we don't want it to fall or go anywhere. When I put it on with it upside down, I think of 
wanting my shoulder rest to be like curved like a smiley face. So the bigger end will be on the left side of the violin and the smaller end will be on the right side of your violin. One thing we don't want to do when we're putting on our shoulder rest is attach the legs on one side and then try to pull that side over to the other side to make it so that that other side clips on. We want to start at the top, put one side's legs on, then we're going to turn the foot of the other side of the shoulder rest so it's at the top, and now we're going to slide it, slide it down. One nice thing about this coon shoulder rest is it kind of curves a little bit and tilts so that you can find the just right angle for you. Now that we have that guy on, put it on, you can see that it's bridging the gap and I'm able to hold my violin up without any hands. So it's super comfortable and it makes it so I can play properly. Now, if you put your shoulder rest on and it still doesn't feel good, and the top part of your violin is hit digging into your neck or hitting you, we might need to try adjusting your shoulder rest. So we can either move up one of the legs and move the other one down, and then test it again to see if that feels better. Another thing that helps too is most shoulder rests will have little adjusters for the feet. So we can unscrew and then move the foot in. I'll do that right now. So I'm gonna unscrew the foot. Okay, so I've moved the foot in just a little bit. I'm going to attach the foot on the top. Attach the other little foot, slide it down. So you can tell now that I've adjusted it, it's not going as far down. And when I put it on, it doesn't hit my collarbone as much. So try a brand of shoulder rest and see if you like it. If you're not sure, you can always move the leg in and out. Try doing different angles where one side's down farther, one side's up farther, until you find the angle that feels best on you and fits best. Now to take your shoulder rest off, we just wanna slide up one of the edges and then pull it off. We don't wanna pull it off away from our violin, we wanna slide off the side and then take it off. This will help those little ridges on your violin to stay nice. And now you know how to put on a shoulder rest. So remember those things where we want to find a really good shoulder rest for you that bridges that gap, that makes it super comfortable for you to play, and that you can hold your violin up without any hands, that it stays parallel to the floor. We also want a good one that my personal favorite recommendation is that it collapses and it has a really good gripping so it stays on your violin. Last and most important, remember if you put it on your violin and it still is hitting your bone or pinching your neck a little bit, we want to try to adjust those little screws in your shoulder rest to move it either in or out so we can find the perfect fit for your shoulder rest on your violin where it feels really comfortable. Let me know in the comments below what shoulder rest you ended up picking if you have any other questions about shoulder rest. Remember, I've dropped a link to my favorite shoulder rests in my beginner checklist guide that you can find in the description below. I've also linked to all my other favorite accessories in it too, like rosin and cleaning cloths and so many other things. So be sure to check it out in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this. I'll see you in the next video.